All right, so this turmeric paste, as I mentioned, um, I'm going to use some garlic, onion, scotch bonnet pepper, and I have some thyme leaves here that I already grounded. This has thyme leaves, pimento seeds, yeah, thyme leaves, pimento seeds, and a little bit of rosemary in it. So I'm going to add some of this to that blend as well. Okay, so first we want to start by washing our, our turmeric properly because we know these are root root um vegetables. So we need to wash them properly to get rid of all the dirt. So I'm gonna do that and come right back. All right, so now that we have everything cleaned and prepped, I'm just gonna give them a, a rough chop, a rough chop and everything, and then add them to the blender. This is a very simple sauce or paste. Um, you can use it in your cooking up your your tofu if you want a nice spicy flavor on your tofu. Use it in your your veggie mints. Um, some I use it in my rice if I cook rice and I have I want to do a little stir rice stir fry. I just mix it up in there as well it gives it a nice a beautiful flavor and color yeah what else can you use this for oh in your soup I love using it in soup so if, it, if like a nice spicy soup on a, on a cold maybe a cold rainy night or if you have a flu make a nice light soup with this or you just make a soup and add it in there. It gives it a, a nice flavor and a nice rich yellow color as well. So almost done with everything. And we're just gonna add everything straight into the blender. So everything goes in here. Oh, about the liquid part, you may, we're gonna use a little bit of water. Not a lot because it's gonna be so rich and thick, you know? So not a lot of water. And I think it's fun to just drop the peppers whole to watch everything crumble up. <laughs> I think that's fun. I'm using four scotch bonnet peppers. So you know that's gonna be hella spicy this it smells so good um i mentioned before it's thyme leaves pimento seeds and rosemary in here beautiful flavor for seasoning or flavoring a pot i think i'm gonna use maybe two tablespoons of this mixture all in there and then a little water To this I'm using maybe half a cup of water, half cup to one cup. So I'm just going to eyeball that. And I'm going to switch the angle up so you can see. Ready? We're going to start off on slow. Stop it for a bit. If you see it, the, the blender, I'm um, having a hard time. Just add a little bit more water, but not a lot because it will. Oh, smells so good. Oops. Give it a little stir around. You can leave it chunky like this if you wish to. I bet if you leave it chunky, it will still be wonderful in your in your dishes. But I like mine to be. As smooth as I can get it to be. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and, ooh, it smells so good. to please be careful handling this because it is really spicy we don't want it splashing in your eyes and plus the turmeric is gonna yellow up your hand so if you want to use a gloves go a pair of gloves go ahead and do so and then just add it straight to a jar a clean jar so that is the consistency that i like I'm telling you, it smells really, really good. I'm gonna use this for do something later on. <laughs> just cover this and store it in your fridge. It's stored. I don't know. It maybe lasts for a couple of weeks. It lasts. It. I don't think it has an expiry date. I usually finish it up within two to three weeks. I use about a tablespoon or two tablespoons at a time because it is really rich, very strong. So there you go. This is my turmeric paste, my spicy, spicy turmeric sauce or paste for preparing um, or, or tofu dishes or any vegetable dish just for additional spice and additional flavoring. It's very handy sometimes to use maybe in place of your curry. If you want to make curry, curry chickpeas, this would be great for that. You just fry some of this up in the oil and carry on. All right. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you get a chance to, to try this one out. Um, as always, eat well, work good. Thank you.